Hey guys! So today I want to do a school related video. If you hear noise in the background, I am doing laundry so you might hear my um, washing machine. So just ignore that. And I am dressed so at any point that I look naked, I'm not naked. Okay? Okay. So if y'all do not know, I am a senior at an HBCU. I transferred from a PWI to an HBCU. And so it is my final year, my, well, no, okay. I have two more semesters and then I graduate. And then I'll be done with school. Like forever, I'm done, peace out. I'm not going back. And that was one question that y'all asked me if I was going to stay in school or just focus on making YouTube videos. And of course, I'm going to finish school even though it has been a trial for me. It, it definitely has been challenging for me. And I can talk about that. I can make a story time about stuff I've been through, stuff that went down in college, and why I'm ready to get out. But before I do that, I wanted to do a video to help freshmen, even though I am completely late. It's like October, um, but I still wanted to put out a video, 10 things I wish I knew as a freshman. I hope y'all can take this video and learn something and use it for your freshman year, sophomore year, junior year. It's never too late to um, use these tips and I really hope they help y'all. So my first tip, and I wrote everything down, so I'll be looking down at my phone because I wrote everything down. It's just a whole paragraph of stuff, but I'm only gonna give y'all 10. So my first is to be okay with going to school events alone. Be okay going to school e events by yourself. Now, I said school events. School events are usually safer, much, you know, it, it's okay to be alone at a school event. But if you're trying to go to like, a fraternity event that they're putting on at their house or something off campus definitely bring a buddy whether it's your roommate a sibling bring a buddy do not go to those events alone but school events are safe to go alone and this is how you meet new friends when you go to the school events usually they'll have um, a whole bunch of different events and activities in the beginning of the school year which y'all probably have already witnessed and if you haven't taken advantage of that definitely take a advantage of that you will meet all kinds of people that are in the same boat as you looking for a friend somebody that's interested in what they're interested in and i know you will you will definitely feel like a small little fish in a big pond because that's how i felt when i went to my pwi which is the university of alabama and the first week of school they call it welcome week so they have all these fun events definitely attend it you'll also get a whole bunch of free stuff so why would you want to miss out on that also it's safer to go to a school event alone because school events will not have alcohol but off-campus events or um, parties or events that fraternities are throwing they will definitely have ap alcohol so you do not want to go to that alone but definitely use your best judgment Number two, do not get a boyfriend. Until you are settled in your college routine, do not get a boyfriend. Until you are settled in your college routine and you've made friends, like you've made friendships. Um, you want to make sure you are settled in your college routine because if you get a boyfriend before you've before you've created a routine you will get lost you will be lost you will just follow your boyfriend and everything will be about your boyfriend and you're definitely going to not prioritize school 
and homework and quizzes and you might even put your boyfriend before your friends so definitely wait on the boyfriend I would even say don't even bother trying to get a boyfriend freshman year everybody is trying to figure things out why would you want well this is just my preference but please take the advice I've learned from experience do not bother getting a boyfriend just keep that person close if you like them just keep them close and just be good friends with them until you're really ready until you can really think you can balance a boyfriend and homework tests studying you know your friends and social events parties you know if you think you can balance all of that once you get into a college routine and made friendships then get a boyfriend because what if it doesn't work out what if the relationship doesn't work out and you have no body to fall back on because that was the guy that you did everything with you did everything with him now you have nobody to do anything with that gets pretty lonely and it's really gonna take a toll on you and you you feel like wow now I gotta like start over well now I gotta look for friends but that's something you definitely should have done before you got into the relationship. Look for those friends so that when something does happen, if the relationship doesn't work out, you have your friends to comfort you and care for you. And you can still go out and have fun. And it definitely helps getting over uh, the relationship when you have somebody to distract you from getting in your feelings. Feeling so sad about this breakup. And it, it will hurt. You will want to cry. It will be sad. So definitely think about that. Think about getting in a relationship. How important is it really? What if it doesn't work out? You know. But then again, it could work out. And it could be the best thing, like the decision in your life. Everybody's different. So there I say again, you use your best judgment. Number three, do not rely on roommate match forms. So I've tried to rely on the roommate match forms. If you know what I'm talking about, it's just a form you fill out that talks about your interests, what time you like to go to bed, what time you wake up, if you like to drink, smoke, party, or not, if you like to study inside your room or at the library, the kind of music you like, if you like cats or dogs, if you have a pet, if you have a boyfriend, probably. It's different questions like that. And so they try to match you with somebody who um, is similar to you. Guys, I've tried to rely on that roommate match form and it never worked out for me, okay? Apparently, me and my roommate, the person that they chose to room with me, were supposed to have something like all these things in common or something in common and I'm just like, what? what do we have in common what could we possibly have in common and even if we do have something in common our personalities just do not match so that being said do not rely on the roommate match forms i personally would go out and try to find the perfect roommate for me um, on my own so if the University of Alabama has like a Facebook page where students can write stuff in it. Um, and one thing that a lot of people write is that they are looking for a roommate. If your school has that, then you can do the same thing. Also at University of Alabama, they have a uh, like find a roommate website. So check and see if your school has that. And when you find a girl that you think you might mesh with or click with, get her number you know stalk her on facebook or instagram definitely even get her snapchat and stalk her on snapchat because you can actually see how these people really are get her number and text her or call her talk to her and maybe even if you're about it try to like meet up with her try to plan something with her but if she lives in a whole different state Maybe you can FaceTime her or like I said, text her, call her, stalk her on her social medias. So try that. Also, they say don't room with your friends, but I say that is BS. 
room with your friends. Your friends know you best. Your friends are your friends for a reason. Your friends know what, what your pet peeves are, what irks you. Your friends know your little quirks. And your friends are clearly okay with that because they're your friends. So, if you can, room with your friends. If you know a friend that's going to the same school as you, don't. Don't be like, oh no, we can't room together. It will ruin our friendship. See, now that way of thinking is going to ruin your friendship. Don't think like that. Go in it positively. You love that friend, so be excited about it. Cause she'll be excited about it and y'all will both be excited about it and y'all are friends for a reason. And that friend knows you the best. The best than a stranger. That makes perfect sense. Your friends know you way more than a stranger does. So your friends know, like I said, your pet peeves, your irk, what irks you, um, what triggers you, what makes you laugh, what makes you smile, things that you enjoy to do, your hobbies, your friends know this stuff. Y'all probably have all of that in common anyways. And if not, if y'all are friends and y'all don't have that in common, then... I was gonna say, why are y'all friends? But maybe y'all just accept that y'all are different. And that is good. So room in with your friends, okay? Try to room in with your friends if you can. I think we're on number four. Number four, do not miss school events. Do not miss school events. Go to the school events or sign up for as many school events you can. I know at University of Alabama, they have school events where they would take, um, they would have a sign up list or sheets they would take a certain number of people to like six flags or the movies it was just amazing so check into that maybe your school does that and if not they don't do something like big like that still go to the school events because you will definitely get free stuff like i said earlier you will get free stuff that will make your day it gives you something to do and then just sitting in your little small dorm room go to these school events and you'll meet more people and that's the thing about college you just want to meet and get along with as many people as you can because you never know when you're going to need their help you never know when you're going to need a ride you never know when you're going to need um someone to help quiz you for a test or someone to help you study or someone to pick you up because your your friends ditched you or some guy ditched you you never know what situations you might get in to where it's like oh hey i remember you we talked you're so cool i i feel like i can trust you so can you help me with this you know there will be times many many times in college where where you will need help and you don't have your family to help you anymore so your college classmates or whatever you want to call it peers those are your new family so get along with them and going to school events can really make your college experience much more fun like way more fun it also helps you not feel so lonely and it helps distract you from any like other stressors in your life whether it's um your roommate stressing you out because you didn't get your friend as a roommate you had to get some random girl as a roommate a random boy as a roommate or whether it's a test coming up that's stressing you out or um formals if you're in a greek sorority so get out and take advantage of those school events instead of like sitting in your room you know just laying on your bed thinking about how lonely you are that's not healthy number five speaking of health take advantage of the free gyms at ua we had like three or four gyms you can just go in and work out with a pool and a snack bar and Zumba classes, hip hop workout classes, spin classes, all those different classes. Basketball gym, everything you can think of that would be in a gym. So take advantage of the free gyms. You don't want that freshman 15 sneaking up on you because the food in the cafeteria is so good that it is capable of making you gain a lot of weight. Because the food in the cafeteria is so irresistible. See, at my HBCU, we call it the calf. At my PWI, we call it the dining hall. So, 
what whatever you want to whatever you call it the food is good the food is good but at the end of the day it's gonna leave you so gassy so gassy i don't know what they put in the food but the food is like crap so if you can cook your own meals and try to eat healthy because I'm pretty sure that food that they serve y'all in the cafeteria, in the dining hall, whatever you want to call it, it's not the best food for you. So either sweat it off or just cook your own healthy meals um, in a dorm room. My dorm had a kitchen, like a, a community kitchen in the hall that you can cook your own stuff, but I don't know if all dorms have a kitchen. So you might not be able to do that if you don't have a kitchen in your dorm or you don't live in an apartment. But they do have healthy vegetarian options um, or just healthier options if you're not a vegetarian. They do have healthier options. You just got to think smart. You know, don't go to the thing that smells the best. Like, oh, it smells so good because it's probably the, the most unhealthiest thing ever. They're going to have cookies, desserts cakes, ice cream, just take advantage of that gym. And I said free gym, but technically the gyms at your college or university is not free. You're actually paying for it through your tuition. So if it's already paid for, definitely take advantage of it. You do not want it to go to waste. That's like wasting a lot of money. You already paid for that gym. It is in your college tuition. That's why your college tuition is so high. That amongst a whole bunch of other stuff you're paying for, like the transportation, um, et cetera, et cetera. You can actually look this up. It's not just classes. It's way more than that. Stay on top of your health. I truly believe that if you look good, you feel good. Gym will also give you something to do so you're not bored. And you might even meet some friends at the gym. So take advantage of everything on your campus because that's an opportunity of meeting new people. Even at the gym, you'll meet somebody. Making time for yourself, whether it's the gym or the pool or just riding your bike around campus can really help de-stress you. From all the stressors, like, um, like a rude professor, man, that's gonna happen. You're gonna get a rude professor it just seems like they're always after you and they just always want to fail you. Number six, do your homework. <laughs> I sound like your mother. Do your homework. Do your homework right away. Do your homework right away. Okay? Do not wait until the last minute and try to cram all your homework and studying and doing your quiz and doing like an online test if you have one of the... If you can do one of those. Um, cramming is stressful. Cramming will just stress you out. So just stay on top of your homework so you don't feel like you need to cram at the last minute because you're just stressing yourself out. At the last minute when you're tired and you're sleepy or you feel sick or something, something might happen and you will not want to touch that homework or look at it, but you're going to have to because the next day the homework is due. So just go ahead, do your homework, get it done. Get the not so enjoyable stuff out the way first, like your homework, so you can be stress free and have fun afterwards and you don't even have to worry about, oh, did I complete that homework? Did I finish that homework? And stress in college is the devil. Stress in college will make you not want to even finish college. So try to eliminate as much stress as you possibly can. If you have homework that's not due until the end of the week and it's the beginning of the week, you're going to have to constantly remember to do that homework and that's just going to stress you out. You're, you're going to have to constantly try to remember and, and, and put a reminder on your phone or write notes and stick it everywhere to remember to do your homework. Why would you want to do that? Just do your homework, get out the way, and then you will not have to worry about that or stress out like, I gotta do my homework. And I Once you finish that homework, submit it or um, stick it right in your book bag so you don't forget it. If you do it earlier in that week and it's not due until later that week, don't have it just sitting out on your desk. At, don't have it just sitting out on your desk in your dorm room or, you know, wherever you place 
your papers because you might forget about it by the end of the week. You might forget about that 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 homework was due. So stick go ahead and stick it in your binder or your book bag or submit it online. Just just submit it online, you know, get it done, get it out the way. Don't worry about it again. Number 7. Speaking of forgetting, invest Invest in a planner, okay? Invest in a planner because I didn't think that a planner was necessary. I wasn't that type of girl to like have a planner and write things down in a planner. That wasn't me. I wasn't that type of girl. But then I finally got a planner because it was freaking cute. So I was like, wow, this is a freaking cute planner. So I'm going to get it because it was cute. But guys, I actually used it. This was like my junior year. My junior year. Junior year. Or actually, it might have been my senior year. Because I'm a super senior. And you know what that is? It means like, like you should have graduated, but you're still here, basically. So you're a super senior. But when I finally actually used a planner, I wrote down... Um, everything that was due when your teachers pass out the syllabus in the beginning of the school semester some teachers will have if you actually look through those syllabus because or syllabi whatever the plural form of it is which i never did i never flipped through those syllabi <laughs> so when i finally did even when the teacher would like go through it with you i just totally zoned out i just that's my time to like space out go to the bathroom or something you know go get a snack because it just seems so repetitive it's like the same thing but actually some teachers will put when quizzes are um so you know no pop quizzes some teachers will actually put when quizzes are when homework is due on um, what chapters they're reading on which week and that is very helpful. Um, and when they're having like a test or the midterm or the final, they will put that on the syllabus. So what I did was like, wow, wow. I wrote that mess down on the planner. And it was so helpful because I would just open my planner. Like say I'm waking up for class, but I'm so freaking tired. I would have my planner right there on my bed. Um, and I would open my planner up and look and, and see if we're having a quiz, a test, or if homework is due. I would see that no, no quiz, no test, no homework due. So what would I do? I would go back to sleep. So you can take that advice or not. That might be some bad advice. But guys, hey, sometimes you really need a break. And the best days to have a break are the days where the teacher like just has like a reading assignment planned. That's it, a reading assignment. You can do that at your um, dorm, at your dorm, in your dorm room, or at your apartment. If you really want to sleep in, check your planner and see if like there's anything that y'all have to do in that class, and use your best judgment if you feel like you can miss that class. Some teachers have it to where you can only miss three classes, and if you miss more than three, then they drop your grade, uh, a letter grade. Hey guys, so my camera died, but I believe I was on number seven, and I was talking about investing in a planner. Um, let's see. Oh, about the planners, I also wrote down like holidays and breaks um, so that way when I'm looking at my planner, it's kind of like having, uh, what are those called? Like when it's Christmas, like countdown to Christmas calendars, so you get to mark off the day and you actually get to see how much closer you're getting to your next break, whether it's like fall break, spring break, um, or Christmas break even or summer break it just feels good to just be able to mark off the days on your planner like that day is done that day is done you're literally getting through college day by day but marking off the days just make you feel like you've accomplished something and that you actually get to see 
progression. You actually get to see the semester ending. Um, even right now, like your birthday, friend's birthday, um, family's birthdays and stuff like that to really help you keep up. Because sometimes a lot is going on in college and you have a lot to remember and you will literally forget that, wow, it's it's my mom's birthday or it's my dad or my grandparents or my sister, my brother, my best friend, I my cat, my dog, I totally forgot. So definitely write that down because it really helps relieve some pressure and some stress off of you to like have to remember this and remember that and remember. No, just write it down in that planner and keep up with that planner. Number eight is do not get caught up in the party scene. Now it depends on what school you go to. Some schools don't have like a party scene. But um, definitely, definitely at UA, University of Alabama, the PWI school that I went to, definitely a party school. Like, there's a party every day. Every day you can find a party. There's always something to do. And it can be nice, but it can also be trouble. Now that you're off on your own, you get more freedom and the choice to do whatever you want. But being off on your own definitely will challenge you. And some challenges that you will face might leave you shocked or lost and confused. What really helped me is to tell myself, what if some, okay, what really helped me like not make stupid decisions, that's what I should say, is to really tell yourself like, what if someone was able to take a picture of me doing this and they post it online or sent it to my friends or sent it to my family would I be ashamed would I be embarrassed so really think about it like that what if someone got a video or a picture of me doing this would I be embarrassed or ashamed and if the answer is yes then don't do it don't do it or just don't do it in public definitely think about that what if my family was watching or what if my family saw this or what if my um, grandparents saw this or my friends or my boyfriend or my girlfriend. Think about that to make your judgments. Think about that to make your decisions on if it's a good idea or a not so good idea. So like I said, um, think about like what if someone posted it on Facebook, whatever you're doing or wherever you're at. If it embarrasses you, then leave wherever you're at, leave. Or just don't do whatever you were considering doing. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You don't want to have regrets. And if you feel like you might regret this, don't do it. And if you're drunk or you had too much to drink, um, Definitely have a trustworthy friend with you that won't let you do those regretful things. Let's say you're not the partying type, but you met some girls that all they do is party and you really want to impress them, you really want to be friends with them. The answer to that, you know, if you're in that predicament, like, wow, I really want to impress these girls, please just be true to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Like, is this the type of person I am? Is this... Would this embarrass me? Would I regret this later? There are so many people on the college campus. You do not need these girls that are pressuring you or making you feel uncomfortable to be your friends. Find some new friends. You will find some new friends. Tell them I that's not me, like I'm uncomfortable, and if they don't understand, drop them. Drop them, like delete their number, just and don't get caught up in any drama. If the girls get mad and they try to start drama, just ignore the drama. Don't get caught up in any drama. And eventually it will all just disappear, trust me. They will move on and you will move on and the whole situation will just disappear. It's not even something to even make a big deal out of. So even if they did go and like try to gossip about you, there's nothing they can say. You know, as long as you don't embarrass yourself, you don't make yourself look stupid, you don't say something you regret or do something you regret, there's nothing that they can 
possibly say unless they like make up some lie and then something is wrong with them and like I said you wouldn't want to be friends with those people in the first place so trust me please you will be able to find a group of girls or a group of guys that are into what you are into you don't have to change and be somebody you're not or something that you're not or do something that you're not comfortable with or be somewhere you're not comfortable being a university or a college is full of all kinds of people you will find somebody that share the same interests as you and have the same morals and values as you you don't have to change because you're trying to be cool Ooh, because you're trying to be cool like you will be cool being yourself and having those group of friends that are also into what you're into. They will think you're cool and you will be proud of yourself. You'll be happy. You'll feel good. You Trust me, you will feel so good inside knowing that you're being true to yourself and honest with yourself. Please don't give in to peer pressure. We are in college. We don't do that anymore. That's a high school thing. We're in college now. We don't give in to peer pressure. In college, we are ourselves. And um, yourself is accepted in college because there's, like I said, there's so many different kinds of people. You will find your group that accepts you. You will find people that are interested in what you are interested in. Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with them. Something might be wrong with them, I don't know, but just know nothing is wrong with you. You like what you like, and that is okay, especially when you can find other people that like what you like. Be true to yourself. Those potential friends, cut them off and start back at tip number one. It is best to surround yourself with like-minded people to really get the best experience of your college career. Number nine, I kind of touched on this already, but stay out of the gossip. I've been in this predicament. I've met girls that all they wanted to do was gossip about another girl that was su supposed to be in our group. Like that was supposed to be our uh, friend. She was in our group. Like we hung out with her. We went places with her. Why are you talking about her when she's not around? So it's best to stay out of the gossip because you will be in a predicament where you like that girl, but you also like the girl that's like gossiping. Just stay out of it. If it's in your character to speak up and say, hey, that's not right. Let's not talk about people. She's a nice girl. Um, and, and let them know how nice she is. Let them know, hey, we did this together or she let me borrow this. She helped me with this. Let them know how good of a girl she is and that she doesn't deserve to be talked about behind her back if you're that kind of person. If you're not, like I said, just stay out of the drama because even standing up for the girl might bring some drama. But use your best judgment. Definitely stand up for people if um, you see something wrong or you hear something wrong be prepared for the fire be prepared for the person getting mad at you and then again um maybe that person isn't even a good person for you maybe that person is not a good person maybe that person is not a good friend to even have in your life so you might even have to reconsider like hmm, you seem like a nasty person i don't want to be your friend and that's okay that is okay but you got to pick your battles. You definitely have to pick your battles. Um, and in college, you're definitely just trying to survive. So try your best to just stay out of the drama. Um, if all the girls in your group are just drama, you might have to just cut them all off and find a new group of friends. Because if they're talking about an, one girl in the group or, you know, someone in class or if they're just gossiping, and they gossip a lot, they might even be talking about you. You just don't want to be around that. College is stressful enough, and sometimes when people are gossiping, it stresses you out, or it brings drama, which will stretch, stress you out. And number 10, uh, let's see what I put. Start a class group chat. Yes, start a class group chat. That's the best advice I could possibly give you. I probably should have put that at number one. 
I didn't know anything about these class group chats until senior year of being at my... See, I'm a super senior, remember? So I was actually a senior at my PWI. And it wasn't even a big thing where people would make group chats. I don't know why. I guess because the classrooms are so big. And when you're in a classroom of like 400 students, it's kind of hard to make a group chat. A classroom group chat. But when I got to my HBCU, everybody was making group chats. Every class was making group chats. And the classrooms weren't that big at my HBCU. So you were able to talk to all your classmates, get all their numbers. It is the best. The like, what? Where was this my freshman year? Where was this? Group chats are amazing because you can ask somebody, um, "Hey, I'm running late. Can you sign the roll for me?" Or, um, "Hey, I can't make it to class. What is the teacher talking about? Can you send me notes?" Or Hey, can someone help me with this homework? Did I do this right? And you can send a picture. Or someone in the class might say, Hey, teacher canceled class. Or teacher's not here yet. Uh, you still got time to rush on over before roll call. Um, someone in the group chat will tell you if like an event is going on and you didn't even know it. Someone will put it in the group chat. T-shirts. Someone's handing out free t-shirts or free ice cream on campus. If you're having steak for lunch at the dining hall or the cafeteria. Someone will put that in the group chat. Like, it's just amazing. There's so many benefits to having a classroom group chat. And the app I like to use is GroupMe. And no, I'm not sponsored. I wish, but no, I'm not that big yet. I feel like no one is watching my videos like no sponsorships are coming my way with just 500 subscribers so um please subscribe let's get to 1000 so i can get some sponsorships that but anyways um one app i love to use is group group me that's the only app really that i think there is to use i don't know but at ua that's what people would use group me and then when i got to um my hbcu they use group me so make a group me account uh also i hate to say it but them group me's you can even cheat on them group me's like someone might send in the answers to a test or a quiz um group me is just so helpful y'all can talk to each other and and plan out study study what would you call it? Like study sessions. Um, the list goes on. Making a group chat definitely helps. I hope I'm not missing nothing. It's so vital. I can't, I just can't even, I can't express how vital it is. Make a group chat. All you gotta do is in the beginning of class, um, get everybody to write their number on a piece of paper. Take that piece of paper and put everybody's number in that group chat. That's it. Simple, done, yeah. So I have a, a, a number 11 tip, or tip, I have an extra tip. A bonus tip, if you wanna call it. Well, no, I'm not gonna say this is a bonus tip. Let's just add this to number 10. Also with the group me, definitely also download Venmo on your phone or um, Cash App, but at UA, my PWI, people, a lot of people use Venmo. I didn't even use Cash App, and I still don't like to use Cash App. I think Venmo is way more popular. So download Venmo, and no, I'm not sponsored, but I wish I was. Download Venmo because um, it's just an easy way for your friends to like send you money if uh, they borrowed money from you or they if you'll have an apartment together they can pay rent through Venmo um, if you take a friend out and they say they'll pay you back they can pay you back through Venmo if you're trying to sell a football ticket you can sell it through Venmo if you work on campus and um, your coworker says hey if you cover my shift I'll pay you $20 they can pay you through Venmo 
Uh, if you help someone write their paper and they say they'll pay you, they can pay you through Venmo. So Venmo is such a great app to have. It's so popular. If someone comes up to you and say, hey, do you have a Venmo? Then you know what a Venmo is, thanks to me. You're welcome. I didn't know the, what the heck a Venmo was <laughs> until I downloaded it. And I'm like, wow, I like Venmo. I really do. It's pretty cool. You can also see like what people you follow or your friends. You can see what they are spending their money on. It's pretty interesting. I like to use em emojis on my Venmo. If you want to add me on Venmo, I think it's, I don't know what my Venmo is. Also, while you're at it, just go ahead and add me on Instagram. I use Instagram a lot. I love Instagram. So add me on there. And also, comment below or just send me a, a DM or comment under like one of my pictures. If you have any more questions about college, any more... Ad Ooh. If you need any more advice, as y'all can see, the sun is setting on me. So I need to hurry up. Um... Also comment below what college you're attending. I'm really curious to know. I'm very interested. If you go to an HB If you go to an HBCU, shout out to you. If you go to a PWI, shout out to you. Um if you want me to make a video on like the difference between an HBCU and a PWI, I can talk about my personal experience and the differences that I saw attending UA and then my HBCU um, that I'm currently attending. There is a big difference. They both have their pros and they both have their cons. So if you want me to do a video on that, I definitely can do that. Just let me know. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye! Wow, y'all! I'm liking this lighting. The melanin is popping. Okay. Okay. Wait. Let me show y'all. No glasses. What y'all think? See, I wore my glasses because I was trying to look studious. You know. Um. <clears throat> did it work? Let me show y'all my outfit. Ooh. 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 Wait. I know my channel is like a fashion channel, so I have to show y'all my outfit. Kind of basic, but he <laughs> jeans from Fashion Nova, top from Forever Twenty One.